life membership to me is, in a lot of ways, it's nice because I didn't end up becoming as good a player as what I wanted to. I, you know, at first I didn't even know if I'd get a game and then once I started getting a game, then all of a sudden I aspired to be a much better player than what I turned out to be. When my career finished, and I didn't want it to, but um, looking back on it, I, I know I couldn't have got through another season with the way my body's been, um, and that's my fault with the way I've handled it. Um, you know, when I first retired, I was a bit embarrassed um, and, you know, a bit sheepish and didn't really feel I belonged to either club that I played for. played for both Melbourne and Collingwood and um, sort of never really felt like I belonged at either. But the one thing about Collingwood is having played in that flag, that's something that no one can ever take away from us. And so I'm always going to have that bond with the 22 who played. And now I think, now I've finished playing, it's funny that, you know, supporters come up to me and uh, and will sort of thank me for my time at the club. I think, oh, I only played 70 games. I wanted to play 200 games for the club. So to be awarded that life membership is really special because it means I am tied to the club for life now. The, the thing for me was 2010 and I was young. I was in my fourth year and I'd only played, you know, I'd played less than a dozen games going into that season. And, and even then, I, you know, Mick made me feel every week like I was lucky to be holding my spot. And I think that's why I ended up, again, looking back on it, why I had a good year is because he kept me on edge and that was his skill as a coach, knowing which players to, which buttons to push on, on each player. And so for me, I felt like I was just riding that wave. If I'd have a good game, I'd think, I'd sort of, breathe easy and think okay I'll probably hold my spot next week if I had a bad game I'd think oh geez I hope I train well this week and I remember got to about round 16 17 that year and we, we played might have been St Kilda we beat them by about eight goals and at that point it felt like we were just a machine and any team that came up against us we were going to chew them up and spit them out and I think that kind of we had that healthy dose of arrogance to us that we knew whoever they'd dish up, we were going to beat. And, you know, we, we almost shot ourselves in the foot on the first grand final day. But as soon as we came off and got away with a draw, we knew we were going to win that second week. I remember in that drawn game, just thinking, how are we going to stop Lenny Hayes? And then I think he even got that clearing kick where, you know, that famous moment where Milne let the ball bounce. But I just remember thinking, we've got to just slow them down here. And I remember when I think we were a goal down and the ball spilt in the goal square and I flicked it through to Trav and Trav slammed a goal through. That was when I thought, we've dodged a bullet here. And then that following week, there's just, I've never even watched the full replay, but there's just a few moments in time that, you know, we, we talked about for the days after, in that aftermath of the grand final, that uh, you still hold on to those vivid little memories of, little involvements here and there. So there's so many parts to it. There was, you know, immediately I think of the friendships I had, both with my teammates, some of whom I was able to play in a flag with, some who I played with along the way, and then also the staff and the just the people involved with the club, um, from the volunteers to the medical and coaching team, the you know, the admin, and then also all the great supporters that I, I came in contact with along the way too. And I think it, it, it's a cliche, but it's the people who make up a footy club, it's the people involved. Um, and so now to no longer be a player and not have any day-to-day -day role with Collingwood, to now as a life member be able to say, I'm still, you know, I'm intrinsically involved in the club. Um, I think that's what's really special to me.